From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Krishna Russell. Three people are dead following two separate boating accidents on Sunday. In the first incident, police say they were alerted to a boating accident at around 6 p.m. that occurred in the area of Anthal Island. The captain of a Yamaha jet boat informed police that his vessel was cruising in a western direction toward the Montague foreshore. Police said he noticed the occupant of a jet ski traveling east and attempted to avoid a collision, but the vessels collided head on. The captain fished a man from the waters and checked for signs of life, but there were none. The man's body and jet ski were brought to the Montague ramp. The second incident happened at Harbor Island. It involved a 28-foot Bertram, which is used as a ferry boat. This boat was traveling to Man Island when its captain felt and heard a bang. He assumed the boat had hit a rock, but later realized that he collided with a Boston whaler. As a result, the passengers of the Boston whaler were ejected into the water. Two women were later determined dead at the Harbor Island Clinic, while the body of another man was fished from waters this morning. Police investigations are ongoing. Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis said the country is turning the corner in the fight against COVID-19 after he and his wife were among the nation's first to receive the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine yesterday. Dr. Minnis said he is confident that the majority of citizens will receive the vaccine, a catalyst, he said, for returning to normal. He believes this will be done by May or June of this year. Before he spoke to reporters, Dr. Minnis got his first injection of the two-dose vaccine and completed a 15-minute observation period by health officials at Loyola Hall on Gladstone Road. Around 110 people received shots in the pilot phase of the vaccine process yesterday. Nurse Ruth Bastian, a public health nurse since 1975, was the first person in the country to receive the vaccine yesterday morning. An off-duty police officer shot and killed a man who allegedly attacked him with a baseball bat in a parking lot on Friday night, the Royal Bahamas Police Force has said. The incident took place after 10 p.m. at a plaza on East Street South opposite Cox Way. Initial reports from police said the off-duty officer was patronizing an establishment in the plaza when he became an eyewitness to an ongoing altercation in the parking lot. The officer made an attempt to speak to the individual who was involved, police said, but the man then left and later returned with a baseball bat and struck the officer on his head and face several times. The officer, who was armed with his service pistol, fired several shots at his assailant, fatally wounding him. Emergency medical services were called, and they pronounced the man dead at the scene. The officer was transported to hospital, where he's listed in stable condition. Anyone with information is asked to contact police at 502-9991. The vaccine rollout process will begin on Wednesday on New Providence and Grand Bahama, with the appointment system expected to go live tomorrow, the National COVID-19 Vaccine Consultative Committee announced yesterday. Individuals eligible to receive the COVID-19 vaccine in this first phase include healthcare workers in the public sector and private sector healthcare workers participating in the vaccination rollout, residents and staff of elder care homes, and non-ambulatory residents registered in the public health system, and staff of the uniformed branches. Appointments are not required for residents and staff of elder care homes and non-ambulatory residents who will be vaccinated by the COVID-19 vaccine mobile unit. The appointment system will go live on March 16th for health care workers and uniformed staff members, beginning with the Royal Bahamas Defense Force on New Providence and Grand Bahama. Your complete news and information source, this is the Tribune News Network. In international news... U.S. officials have arrested and charged two men with assaulting U.S. Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick with bear spray during the January 6th riot, but they don't know yet whether it caused the officer's death. George Tenios, 39, of Morgantown, West Virginia, and Julian Cater, 32, of Pennsylvania, were arrested Sunday. They were expected to appear in federal court on Monday. The idea that Sicknick died after being sprayed by a chemical irritant has emerged in recent weeks as a new theory in the case. The Vatican decreed Monday that the Catholic Church won't bless same-sex unions since God cannot bless sin. The Vatican's Orthodoxy Office, the Congregation for the Doctrine of Faith, issued a formal response Monday to a question about whether Catholic clergy have the authority to bless gay unions. The answer, contained in a two-page explanation published in seven languages and approved by Pope Francis, was negative. 
The Tribune's AccuWeather update a service of Bahamas Power and Light Company. High pressure ridging continues to dominate the weather pattern over the Bahamas. Beachgoers should exercise caution along East Coast beaches due to the slight risk of rip currents. For all areas, it'll be partly sunny and warm, with a few stray shower chances today, mostly fair tonight. Winds east to southeast at 10 knots or less in the northwest Bahamas, east northeast to east southeast at 10 to 15 knots in the central and southeast Bahamas. Seas one to three feet over the ocean, but slightly higher in easterly swells in the northwest Bahamas, two to four feet over the ocean in the central and southeast Bahamas. We'll have a daytime high temperature of 81 degrees and an overnight low temperature of 70. The sun will set this afternoon at 717 and will rise tomorrow morning at 719. That's Newsbreak. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper. Now on the streets or stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.